Welcome to Sea Sean Vlog and today I'm at the Hilton Wembley Hotel. It's my first time staying here and I'm here for two nights. So at the end of this video I'll give you a little bit of a review of my stay. I'll talk about how my sleep was, whether the shower was any good, its location, is it value for money and any of the amenities that the hotel has that I use. I'll talk about those as well. But I really like the hotel so far. When I checked in the reception were, were very very friendly and very chatty and very helpful. It took a little bit of a while to, to check in but they did change my room from a twin to a king which I very much appreciate. Once I checked in I had a quick look at the lobby area and it's a pretty cool lobby area. There's lots of sporting merchandise and I guess that's because we're right next to Wembley Stadium. We're actually, the hotel's actually in between the Ovo Arena, the Wembley Arena, the shopping centre and Wembley Stadium so it's a really really good location but all of the merch from all of the sports that's there's like signed footballs there signed shirts all all sorts going on down there and that's that's pretty cool this hotel also has a fitness center and a pool now I can't film in there but I'll pop on pop, pop a couple of pictures and it also has a rooftop bar which after the room tour we'll go and check that out because it's all it's called Sky Bar 9 and we'll go up there on the ninth floor and check out this rooftop bar and see if it's any good. But first, we need to look around the room. So here's the room tour. So as you come in the door, and I'm on the sixth floor, you see the room here. But to the right is a place to put your card. Although in my case, I've got a little bit of paper there just to keep the lights on. And the bathroom is there. We'll have a look in a second. You've got a big full length mirror, which is always very handy. And I'm assuming this is the wardrobe. Yes, it is. So we look in the wardrobe, we have a safe, an iron and an ironing board, as well as lots of hangers and a bag if you want to do your laundry. No extra pillows up top. Normally there are some up there. Right, let's have a look at the bathroom. So it is a large bathroom. You've got a sink and the typical crab tree body wash why is there a body wash body lotion and hand wash towels there shavers socket and a mirror as well as the big mirror that i'm standing in front of there's also hand towels and a little bin tissues floor towel regular towels and then over the bath you've got conditioner shampoo and shower gel and in here it is just a regular handheld shower one there's no rain shower in here and it is an over the bath shower which looks pretty clean with a shower curtain there is the bath and then round the corner you've obviously got the toilet and a phone call just uh, a phone so that you can make a phone call if you get bored in the middle of the night oh there's also a hook on the back of the door as you go out here we have somewhere to store your luggage and a socket down there. We've also got some drawers. So these are two empty drawers on the top and then a big drawer on the bottom. These ones on the top, this one has a hairdryer in it and this one has nothing in it, but it's very shallow. So I don't know why that's so shallow. You've also got a big TV another mirror you've got the first part of the mini bar so unless you want to pay for things don't use that you've also got some sockets behind the tv so they're just regular uk sockets not sure what that one is it's with europe or america something that you won't use with no usbs there you've got a lamp and another telephone they really want you to call them in this hotel an ice bucket and glasses and then beside the desk you've got a chart of where all the hiltons are in the UK. Under the desk we've got a kettle, hot chocolate, tea and coffee and some cups that I really like. Another shelf down there and then in here is a fridge but it's the second part of the mini bar so again don't touch it unless you want to pay for things. There is a Sainsbury's and Amazon Fresh and a Tesco outside so you probably want to go there if you want to, if you want to drink. Table and chairs with complimentary canned water that in the weather today will be very warm. We have a bedside table and lamp 
we have two sockets with two USBs, type A, uh, type A and a type C, so a fast one, which is pretty good. And then the bed itself is very large. It's a king size bed. You could easily fit another two pillows in between. You could definitely sleep four people in there. And then you've got another bedside table over here, but no sockets on this side. And there is a reading lamp on this side and one on the other side too. Behind the curtain, my view is of the shopping center. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, big curtain for a small window. Why do they do that? Let's open it. And there we go, there's the view. So not really a view here. There's the shopping center. There's Wembley Stadium. Tennis courts over there as well. We'd have to have a look around the shopping center. So this is the room. Let's head up and check out the sky bar. Well, that sky bar, sky bar nine is Quite expensive, £9.55 for a pint of Camden Pale, including a service charge. Everybody's adding a service charge these days when you go to hotels, which is slightly annoying. Anyway, I still pay it. £9.55 for a pint though in the Sky Bar, um, and the atmosphere wasn't great. Football was on, but there was no sound, it was just people talking. So I came back to the room um, and watched, watched the football. I'm now going down for breakfast, so I'll show you what I get for breakfast. I've just had my breakfast and it was really good actually a really good selection of hot English a good continental selection and a good bread selection and there's also an omelet station if you want to get some omelets made so the breakfast is, is really really good the restaurant is huge as well and that's also used for dinner next to that restaurant is the icons bar which I'll head down to later on today so I'll show you that once I go in there and then I'll come back and I will give you my review of my two nights stay at the Hilton Wembley. Well, it's now time to check out of the Hilton Wembley. So here's my thoughts on my two nights stay here. So first of all, the price. The price was £138 per night. That included breakfast. And I think that's very reasonable for a Hilton. Very reasonable for a Hilton next to Wembley. Now, there's no events on at the arena or the stadium. So I imagine on those days, the price will be a lot higher, but it's probably still quite worthwhile because it is t like five minutes walk into wherever you need to go in the, the stadium and it's right beside the arena. So really, really good location for both of those places. The hotel itself is brilliant. I don't really have anything negative about this hotel. There were two very minor picky things, but nothing of any significance and those were in the lift just a bit something to note you have to tap your card before you can go up to the, ro the rooms you need to hold it down for five seconds until it goes green and then you can press the button that seems like a long time and the first couple of times i used it i was like this isn't working but five seconds and then you will be fine and then the second thing is the shower now the shower was really really nice it just could have been a little bit more powerful and a little bit hotter for me other than that the shower was absolutely fine the room spot on loads and loads of space in this room it was a really comfortable stay the bed was quite firm lots of pillows the pillows were reasonably comfortable 
uh, and just the room itself is just it's just a comfortable room to be in the tv is huge and that was fantastic for watching the football and don't touch the mini bar just unless you unless you really want to buy something from that mini bar don't touch it but right outside the hotel is an amazon fresh store where you'll get everything for like a third of the price half the price at, le at least because this hotel for buying things in it is quite expensive hence the only one drink that I had at the Sky Bar, which was £9.55, including that service charge that I mentioned. I didn't get a chance to go into Icon's Bar, but I imagine the prices in there are just the same as the Sky Bar, with it being the same hotel. And that bar does look quite nice. The breakfast in the restaurant, brilliant. Really good choice of a full English, a continental, and breads and all that kind of stuff, and a, a service station where you can do those omelettes, as I said. So really, really enjoyed breakfast. Um, and the hotel just the hotel like the vibe the aesthetics it's quiet but there's enough going on to keep you entertained and interested and the lobby area with all of that with all the stuff with the, the signed shirts on the walls and the footballs and things like that is just really really good and everybody staff wise is friendly and helpful so I'd, I'd recommend staying here because the location the cost just everything about it is is really really good if you want to be in, if you want to see things in the center of London, though, this is a little bit out of the way. So I wouldn't, I would only stay here if you're doing something in this area, like Wembley Stadium or Wembley Arena. I wouldn't really stay here for anything else unless there's other things in this area that you are you are doing, like work for offices and things like that. Because there's lots of offices around here, but it's not good if you're planning on being a tourist in the center of London because it's a, it's a little bit of a way for that, but half an hour, uh, forty minutes on the tube, depending on where you're going in center of London. That's my Hilton Wembley hotel review. So thanks for watching and I'll be back with another one soon. Keep making memories. I'll catch you later.